This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add an account to the chart of accounts. Now the chart of accounts icon is here on the QuickBooks home page. And I'm going to click that icon. Now here is my chart of accounts. Now if you'll notice the accounts can be listed according to name or type. But I'm going to add another option which is to number the accounts. To do that, click on the Edit menu, go down to Preferences, and in the Preferences dialog box in the left pane, you're going to click Accounting, and then you're going to click the Company Preferences tab. Now in the Accounts section here, you're going to select Use Account Numbers, and then click OK. Now we have the account numbers listed next to the account name in the chart of accounts. Now QuickBooks has its own default numbering system and it's going to place an account type in a specific numbered range. For example, on the website, liabilities are listed in the 20,000 range. So I'm going back to the chart of accounts and you'll see payroll liabilities, which of course is a liability, and that type of an account is going to be in the 20,000 range. And for that account, the account number is 24,000. Now the type of account I'm going to create is an income account. Since Joe's Landscaping is in the landscaping business, I'm going to create an account called Landscaping Services. And the type of account is going to be is an income account. So to add the account, go down to the account button on the lower left hand corner and click it. Then scroll up to new and click new. Now you'll see the choose account type dialog box appear. And as I said a moment ago, I'm creating an income account type. Now here are my account types listed on the left side and you'll see income, expense, and further down you'll see more account types. I'm creating an income account type. So I'm going to select income and then click continue. Now the add new account type dialog box appears. If I want to change the account type, I can do that here by selecting this drop down menu. But I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to leave it as an income account type. Now here is where you're going to enter in your account number. Now keep in mind you can choose any account number that you want to as long as it's not already being used. And I already know that the account number 40,500 is not being used. So that's the account number that I'm going to type in. Now remember, you must choose an account number that falls in line with QuickBooks default account numbering system. And here where it says revenue slash sales, that account type falls into the 40,000 range. Now I'm going to name the account, which is going to be called Landscaping Services. It's not going to be a sub-account. We're going to cover sub-accounts in the next lesson. And if you choose to, you can write a description for the account. Now you can also create a note, and once you're done with that, click Save and Close. Now you'll see the account that I just created listed here in my chart of accounts. Here's my account number, account name, and the account type. Now before we go, I just want to remind you to use the search field on the website if you're looking for a specific topic because there will be a lot of tutorials on this website and it might be quicker for you to search for the topic that you want to learn about rather than scrolling through all of the lessons on the website. And that's how you add an account to the chart of accounts. If you have any questions, please send us an email. Once again, this is James Fox and I'll see you next time.